Hey friends, welcome to the kitchen. So glad that you're here today. We're going on another freeze drying adventure. I've been busy and I have freeze dried some new to me things. And one of them is rice and beans. I'm so excited to be able to finally get the opportunity to do this. We're making a Mexican chicken and beans with rice dish. We're also participating in a collaboration called Feast in a Jar 2023 by Jan over at Homestead Where You Are. Make sure that you're following along with all the videos included. Every day there's going to be a new one come out. And then on May 6th at 12 Pacific Standard Time, she's going to be doing a giveaway. So make sure you're leaving some heartfelt comments out there too. So you might have a chance to win something fun. I'm going to start out by adding our pre-cooked rice. What I did is I went ahead and I pre-cooked this and then I put it in the freeze dryer. I'm gonna start with a fourth of a cup. I'm wanting to make meals that will be for one to two people depending on how you decide to serve it because Finding that now that my children are older, I don't need to make these huge meals anymore. Next, I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of black beans that were store-bought and then freeze-dried. I rinsed them really well. Chicken. Again, a fourth of a cup of freeze-dried chicken pieces. Now, to kind of give a bit of a salsa feel, I want to add some of the things that you would normally put in salsa. But the pieces of pepper that I have here are a little bigger than I'd like for this recipe. <laughs> to break them into smaller pieces and I'm going to use probably somewhere between probably about an eighth of a cup onions again about an eighth of a cup I think is plenty on this and what is salsa without tomatoes? Hear that seal? I tell you what, there is nothing like popping open a jar, whether it's of pantry items that you have canned, freeze dried, dehydrated, whatever. It is so good to hear that seal so you know your food is good and fresh. And again, the pieces are too large for what I wanna use it for today. So I'm just gonna take about a fourth of a cup and put in some smaller pieces of this tomato. Now I know these look lighter. They were a store-bought tomato that I used. Nice big red juicy tomatoes. It's almost that time of year, friends. To give it a mexy feel, I also want to add some corn. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with somewhere between an eighth and a fourth of a cup of that. It's time for seasonings. I always add a little salt and a little pepper to about everything that I make, but Something else you'll find in salsa is garlic. So I'll add a little bit of that. And some cilantro. I wish I had homegrown, but I am out. So that's okay. I'm just gonna use the store-bought dried stuff. I'm guessing a teaspoon. And now I gotta shake it all down into the jar. When I kind of shook down the seasonings, I looked and it looks like there's a little bit more room in my jar. And I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and add another fourth of a cup of rice. 
making sure I put in my silica packet. And I'm gonna grab my trusty four jars list. If you're not familiar with four jars, there's lots of information. There's a link that you can go straight to the company and find out more about them. And there's even a discount code you can use to get 10% off your order. We're gonna seal this up. Okay, friends, now it is time to seal our Mexican creation. Just get my food saver with my attachment, push vacuum and seal, ready to go. So here we have it, all good and sealed. Ready for storage. Well, if you're anything like me, you want to know what this is gonna turn out to be. This is our Mexican themed rice and bean chicken concoction. Nice, good seal. Remove that silica packet. Gonna dump the whole jar in there. Now, you absolutely can use water, but I thought, why not use some chicken broth to warm this up with. I've got a cup here. I don't know that I'm gonna need all of it. There's about three quarters of a cup. Let's stir this up. Mm, that's probably about right. We'll use that full cup. And what I want to do is kind of push everything down, making sure that I try to put everything in the liquids so that everything has a chance to rehydrate. Maybe I'll mix it one more time. This is all pretty instant, but that chicken might need just a little bit of extra time to rehydrate. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let this set for just a few minutes. We've given this just a minute and it looks like it is fully hydrated and it has Taking in all that liquid, I don't think I would have wanted any more or any less. What do you think? Should we try our homemade rice bowl? I think we should. That is not too bad. I tend to err on the side of bland. Definitely think I would kick this up a bit. I think I would add real salsa instead of the tomatoes, peppers, and onions. And I think you could probably get away with, when you season this, if you wanted to put on hot sauce and stuff like that, if you're definitely a hotter person, you would do that. And I think I'm gonna start seasoning the things before I put them in the freeze dryer. Like, for example, the um, tomatoes were plain, they weren't salted, and stuff like that, so that you don't have to add the salt in. But I don't know for sure, because this makes it really great for like people who have blood pressure issues to be able to use alternatives. But yeah, this sort of worked out really good. I think I would probably want a little more tomato in there, so I think that the salsa would do that for me, or I would powder some tomato and put in there as like a tomato paste. But I would eat this just like this, but honestly, I think I could make this amount stretch further if I would serve it as like a burrito or taco. So I could put this in a tortilla shell and then you could add like cheese and sour cream, maybe some fresh lettuce if you have it. Um, this would absolutely work as a meal. That's the way I'm gonna eat it today. But if I wanted to stretch this out to serve both my husband and I, or my daughter and I, or, um, you know, we had company show up, I could easily stretch this out, 
by turning it into something different. Thanks so much for coming with me today. I love it when you guys come with me when I do these kinds of experiments. I would definitely do this again. It would be super easy to put these in jars or mylar bags and have lots of these on hand. I could change them up by using different types of meat. Um, I just happen to have the chicken. I'm the chicken eater. My husband doesn't eat chicken. So this is great for me to be able to have that as a treat. And then he can have other things that maybe I don't like. So anyway, I, I'd say this is a win. Thanks again. We'll see you later, friends. Till next time. Bye.